All right, time for a Viego game. I'm against a Shaco, which is a pretty reasonable matchup, honestly. He wins early game with his Hill of Blades Ignite, so I do have to be a little bit careful about potential invades. But after like level six, I should be okay. I'm running Conqueror here. Conqueror and Lethal Tempo are kind of the same type of deal for Viego. It kind of just comes down to um, like which passives the enemy team has, basically, or which champions the enemy team has for your passive for Lethal Tempo to be better or worse. They have like more mage, more casters stuff. It generally becomes a bit better to do Conqueror or if they're like more ranged champion base as well, Conqueror is slightly better as well because Lethal Tempo needs to be in melee range for the attacks. Whereas Conqueror also stacks off of like other abilities and stuff. It's uh, a, lo a lot of personal preference at the moment since Lethal Tempo got nerfed and Conqueror got slightly buffed. So yeah. This enemy team is really looking to burn me though with our four ignites. Not uh, gonna be too great for my uh, healing, you know. Don't move too much when you're doing this camp. A little bit's good, but you don't want to make sure you want to make sure you actually get to hit the camp with your abilities. What is this? It's a little sloppy. I felt a little lag there. I don't know what that was. Shaco is doing, doing his classic topside thing. With his box setup. That's fine. I'm gonna auto attack all of these small ones one time. I'm sloppy. I think Shaco might invade me, so I'm taking E. You can take Q as well, because it's slightly faster, like QWQ is slightly better for clear speed. But if the Shaco is going to fight me, I want to have my E. So, that's what I'm doing right now. He is mid lane. He does not have my blue buff. That's fine. Uh, my clear could have been better. What is... Ah, he has Ignite, I'm gonna die. What is that invade, my boy? Holy moly. Okay. God damn, I did not see that one coming, I'm not gonna lie. I got invaded by their top laner. That's not something I was expecting, not something I was, like, focused on or anything. I don't think it's something I could have avoided anymore at the position I was already in. I was like, Shaco's not gonna go for the play, so I should be fine, but then the Jax did it, so... That puts me pretty far behind, I would say, on Shaco. Kill did still get the kill, which is good for kill, so hopefully that does something for top lane at the moment. Instead of taking my, uh, my topside two camps, I'm actually gonna go for his leveled up Raptor camp first. Because this is worth more experience. I'll still take the other two camps afterwards. My jungle will respawn basically when I get to it again. This way. So this should be fine. Taking his raptor camp here is pretty valuable for me. Leave that one alive. Yeah, okay, that's very good actually. It appears that Jax has doomed his top lane for the kill on me, so that's not too bad for me overall. Get this. Use this for the attack speed. Should have proc my passes whenever. On both of them. Focus the grom uh, focus the blue down, sorry. There we go. My wolf should respawn any second here, so I'm just gonna wait for it. And then I can path my thing down afterwards. I th think Shaco may have actually just taken my Krugs tier 2. I'm delaying myself a little bit here, but I'm just gonna try to keep my efficiency higher with the pathing so I don't have to walk back for wolves right now. I do have a feeling that my my Krugs are dead though. 
Nice, he's gonna die. He's walking it straight into the Quiana. Dying to the Jack solo there is better. Wait, how does he have a flashback already? That's impossible, right? Didn't not just flash? Or was that a Q hop? That could have been a Q hop, actually. Yep, wait. Did. Fairly sure he did. I guess not. I guess I was wrong. I'll admit it's my bad then, if that's the case. I misread the dash over this wall, I guess, as a uh, flash instead of a Q-hop. I can just gank bot lane here. Let me see. Caitlyn has no flash, okay. Uh, damn. I missed it. She didn't actually start running or kept running. That was pretty bad gank on my end. Okay, interesting. Come on, Kogma, you have that. Nice. Oh, that's actually pretty bad. Wait, she just backed. I have to help him push. Kick was running bot now. Dude, there is a Shaco coming. He's gonna probably show up on Kogma very shortly here. Oh boy. I am gonna stick around, I guess, for this. Because I just have this feeling Shaco is going for it. The ward has been placed. He could be doing my red buff as well, which would actually be a pretty smart move at the moment. Looks like he did. Oh, he dodged it! You absolute bitch. Let me pick this up so I get some HP back and I don't get hit by that. Nice. There we go. Good job. That's why I had to wait there on bot lane, because I knew the Shaco was going to make some kind of a play. So waiting there actually just basically won us the entire play. He did dodge my ultimate though, which was not great for me, of course, but... That was an extremely good patience wait there, because I just knew he was going to do that. He walked from mid to bot side, so it was only a matter of time. Korkma is... Oh, sorry, not Korkma. Corky is getting absolutely destroyed though. My entire jungle is up, so I definitely want to make sure I clear that right now. I could look for like a dragon, which would be pretty good. The most likely scenario now is that Shaco goes to its top. Actually, no, neither of them have red buff. I guess his red's still up then. Hmm, I could potentially do go for that. Orky's getting abs. Wait, just kill him. What? Couldn't he have just auto-attacked him one more time? Interesting. Uh, Bolt Skull and Dragon look very appealing right now. I don't know where Shaco is, though. I'm assuming Shaco is topside at the moment because of his red buff situation. I guess we'll see. Let me check the scuttle real quick. If it's up, he's most likely topside. I'm actually gonna do dragon here, I think. Make sure to use my uh, my E in a way that it doesn't hit any walls, so it doesn't show up. Viego is very good at doing dragons, as you can see. Your passive does a ton of damage to it. So easily pick up dragon, and then we're gonna walk behind them under turret here. Oh. Let me just do this. I did it again, didn't I? Son of a bitch. Damn.
Pick this up so I can dodge that damage right there. Good. Don't miss your bubble. That works. She made it so Caitlyn had to use her abilities, so it's okay. That is pretty solid, I would say. I didn't... I need to actually just think about using my ult properly. My ult this time still hit the Shaco, I do think, but... It wasn't great. That fight I could have definitely played better. I have to be respectful of his Hill of Blades and also his Ignite, though, which makes things a little bit more difficult. I'm doing this scan, by the way, instead of recalling, because my bot lane is playing very aggressive and yes, this. I was actually expecting them to get it ganked, so I was like, maybe I can back them up whilst waiting for my croc camp. But yeah, they got the gank a little bit too far too deep. They didn't really get a chance to run, so I guess I'll back now. I want to look for the Rift Herald next as the objective to try to push mid turret down, potentially get some gold out of that. Got the shield bow here. Definitely gonna take these. I don't need mercs here because I have a lot of tenacity in my runes. So I don't need the mercs. The damage reduction from the AD component of their team is better than the CC reduction. Damn, Caitlyn just died. Or, Kale just died. Now I'm gonna have to run mid now. See if Kiana sticks around. I doubt it. I actually doubt it. This is warded. Kill does have teleport. Let's see. Let me hit this. I missed. Uh, she doesn't have ult ready, does she? Holy moly. That guy obliterated. Okay. I did not expect that much damage. I thought it was going to be okay because of shield bow, but she didn't have ult and also there was no damage output. I guess she fed him too hard at some point. That's my bad. I shouldn't have fought that. I actually genuinely thought we could kill him there. But he's way further ahead than I thought he was. Hmm. Damn. Considering Kill got that lead, this just wasn't something that clicked in my head. I did not expect this uh, outcome, honestly. Oh, damn. Alright, we're looking pretty bad right now, to be honest. Korkma is pretty fat, though. My bot lane uh, attention has paid off quite a bit on that front. However, I'm a little bit worried about both top and mid lane. He just warded that. I'm a bit worried because I think this. Is, uh, I'm thinking I'm gonna. I'm just gonna do Rift Herald if I can. Gotta make sure not to hit the wall because it gives your position away more. Chico is mid lane. He doesn't have red buff, so his action. His red just spawned. Can't do everything at once, buddy. Just relax for a second. An ally has been slain. Dead. Good. Why are we doing my camp again? I'm just gonna use this right away. Using this on mid turret seems fine. Corky is absolutely doing nothing though. Like he has the range to uh, harass the Kuyana for trying to hit the Rift Herald. I do not have the range to do that. So if he doesn't want to go for this then... You're trolling if you don't come to Dragon right now. Dude, move! Dude! How? Is she getting away with this? Oh, 
I messed that one up. Good flash from Caitlyn right there. Pick this up. Very nice. And they also did the dragon in the meantime. That's very good to see. Viego's power to chase there is immense, honestly. I can just do so much, especially with that Nami behind me. She's fairly strong as well. This is looking pretty good. Did not get mid turret though, however. Need to try to look for that quite soon. I would prefer not to uh, look for a play because of the gold I have. I just want to clear my bot side so not everything is up when I recall. And I also get a little bit of additional gold, which would be nice. Would she... Okay, she's not. I'm using this for safety. Let me see. His pack is down. He should not be using that pack, by the way, like unless objectives are up. So him picking it up out of base there doesn't really make too much sense to my, in my eyes. I have an instant essence reaver that I'm just gonna buy right now. Gonna be a very, very big damage spike. Next, I'll get uh, steel caps and then I'll get some type of a tanky item. I'm thinking. Not sure actually. Something tanky. Something armor tanky. Oh, she just flashed into Nami ultimate. This okay, nice. My bot lane ganks have paid off. Kokma is fed. Nami is fed. Looking solid. Oh, and he sniped her out as well. What a lad. Let's go. On my way. He just used his dodge and his flash, actually. I think Jax is guaranteed to be, de be dead here. Yeah, he just lost a 1v1 against Kill, even. Cool. Solid. The bot lane plays have been huge. I think me waiting uh, for that Shaco gank there was like a game winner, honestly, already. That just put my Kogma so far ahead. I guess I'll... Caitlyn, I need to level. It is very, very massive for kill that she just solo killed the Jax there. It's a lot of experience you get from solo killing someone who's levels higher than you. So she got a lot of XP, plus she got the shutdown. And kill skills like an absolute monster, so this is going to be extremely massive. That is not great, because I will not be able to react to that. If they win that, that would be good, though. I think Shaco doesn't live that. There's no way his Q is going to be back off cooldown in time. Yeah, there's no way. I have too much burst damage. Let's do that before I actually get rid of her passive or her ult thing. Push this in. Dragon's gonna come up in a minute. I think I think I should take the back right now. If I take the back right now, get my steel caps, then I'll be able to fight for that dragon. The question is, what armor item will I purchase here? I think I can go fairly offensive with it for the first one. So I think I'll just go for... Get the pickaxe now and then go for a death's dance. It can be very offensive with the first one. After that, I might consider another one, actually. Because I don't think the Lissandra is going to do much damage. And Shaco is building AD as well. So I can go for, like, a... Probably the uh, Thorn Mill, maybe. Or even the random ones. I can just stack a bunch of armor at this point. Oh, that's huge. Very, very big. I just want this dragon. I don't care about the Baron. Please do not go top lane here. You literally have most of our power right now. I have to be patient. Oh. 
Wait. This is not good. Oh, she is one HP, my boy. That missed? Oh, come on. What is... I actually just can't hit him. What absolute BS is this? Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. I just missed my Q like twice on max range or just barely missed it by an inch. I'm actually annoyed. Kuyana is so annoying, man. Dude, where are you going? <laughs> Why did he just abandon the Kokma there? That is not good. He should have just left it for what it was and helped the Kokma out. I think the Jax could have died. Man, the fact that I just didn't even kill that Kuyana just annoys the hell out of me. That champion is so annoying. No other champion would have been able to outrun me there, I don't think. Maybe a Kassadin, but that guy has so many dashes. And on also the invisibility from his Q as well. It made it so difficult to actually hit him. Sag. Now we still got the dragon at least. I barely wasn't able to kill the Shaco either, which is a little unfortunate. Damn. I just needed any one of my auto attacks to land. Kills in a bad spot. That's not a place she can be. See the play? Hit the wall here. Got him as well. Come. The hell are they going? I killed both Kuyana and Lissandra, which is good. Shake was still alive. I don't like this. Okay, I got it. I don't know where Shaco was. There's no way Caitlyn just face checked that. She actually just face checked that. How much is it? 1900 gold. I'm cl Oh. Alright, cool. If you guys have enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button below. It helps me out quite a bit. If you'd like to see more videos from me in the future, hit the subscribe button as well. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.